Hello Gemini! Welcome to Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak, and welcome to your December 2021 general reading. Now, I made myself a nettle tea and I put all the green lights on in keeping with um, Gemini's color, which is green. You probably see that whole thing wobbly. Um, it's just my cat rubbing against it. <laughs> You doing one hmm? so yeah where were we <laughs> in keeping with the color green obviously the color green is also for your heart chakra so we will actually see um, why I'm drawn to doing all this um, and what's going on so let's go um, and go right in what I will do, I will separate the video slightly in three different areas, so it is easier for you to understand what the guides are talking about. You're right, Mol. And these areas will be, firstly, the overall energy for the months of December. Christmas months, yay! <laughs> so we will have a look at the overall energy to see what the guides are actually saying is happening or we should be looking out for um, in December. And then... Um, the second part of the reading will be your emotions. That could be um, the guide saying um, what needs to what needs to leave. Maybe there's trauma. That's my little tea, Mol. Um, or maybe they talk about love coming in, right? Um, say hello to Molly. Molly, say hello to the people, <laughs> right? And then lastly, we're looking at opportunities. You're showing yourself from the wrong side, girl. <laughs> We're looking at opportunities, and that normally relates to how um, or about things that sustain you. Hang on, hang on, there you go. Come on. Hello. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, let's do that. So let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of December. This is for you Gemini's. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So. Let's have a look what we got for Gemini's. You got the seagull. I don't know if I can show this to you here. You got the seagull. You got the cow. And you got the crow. Now, how this works is I work with Native American guides and spirit animal guides, and these cards are representation of their energy and the one in the middle is the most important because this card is flanked or surrounded by two others. So the one in the middle, which in your case, Gemini, is the cow, is the one we would spend a bit more time on. <clears throat> but we have an incoming energy, which is the seagull, and we have an outgoing energy, which is the crow. So that's just technicalities. Now let's go right into the reading. The first thing for the overall energy for the month of December is to, while not necessarily being too stressed about how to plan stuff and what to do, what I'm getting at today, obviously that's the seagull for you, you need to have some um, plan or some thoughts about what it is. And this is about, this is not about you know, planning Christmas or anything. This is about you looking at your life, assessing it and go like, so how come I'm here, but I want to be there and I'm not getting there. So this is about the energy of you where you feel a bit stuck. And all the guides are saying is, think about what it is you really want, right? You, you can't ask the guides, what do I want? Because you have free will um, and they will not tell you what you ought to be doing because that would be overriding your free will if that makes sense they can only help you with readings such as these ultimately they're asking you to be in charge of your own destiny and have some sort of a plan in other words if an idea comes to you about something that you would really like to do then the first step logically speaking would be to maybe do some research see if this is um you're coming up if this is something you would you would like to do and what are the options where you live, that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> that's what the seagull is basically asking you to do, <clears throat> is to be mindful of um, really deeply looking at uh, into what it is you want, okay? 
one up here. Come on up here. You coming up? Hmm. I'm in the middle of a reading. Cats, they just don't care. <laughs> Love them. Well, come on up then. Hmm? So, secondly, the one that is the one in the middle, which is the most important, which is your cow. The cow is what we call the Übermother, which then actually makes sense with all the surroundings of green for your heart chakra, if that makes sense. Because when the cow is in the middle, we are going back in time uh, to a time when cows were revered. I know they're still revered in some places, but not in many. And the cow is called the Übermother. And I lucky that I can pronounce it. Obviously, Germans have Umlaut, we call it E, U, U, E. So for a change, I say something that I can pronounce. <clears throat> what the guides are saying to you is, this is all, okay, apparently, the month of December for Gemini is really all about reflection, um, but with an emphasis on saying, I, this is what, I, what the way I get this is that, that there's a part of you that feels stuck and the guides are saying is while this is not the best month to do major changes you can get unstuck by assessing first where you are and here's why the cow is the one in the middle and why the cow is so important because the cow is telling you unless you like yourself unless you love yourself unless your self-esteem rises um it'll be very difficult for you to even see when opportunities come your way even see what needs to go um because you have uh, apparently uh, found a way to live with stuff and um somehow not releasing it maybe you're just too busy maybe you never find the time but what the guides are saying to you is oh Molly. What the guides are saying to you is literally um, to focus on self-love and focus on the fact that you are good enough, right? And then your outgoing energy is the crow. And the crow is the animal of transformation. So what they're saying to you as well, the reason why things cannot necessarily go super fast is because when you start letting go and when you release things, then you're going through transformation. And I'm not talking about the 21 day healing crisis here, right? That would also be part of letting stuff go. But you're going through transformation and, and the way, because this is your outgoing energy, which means it is time for you to let go of certain things and, and um, initiate transformation. And transformation means that once you have looked at maybe who is causing issues or what situations you keep uh, keep allowing that do not let you grow um, and you begin letting that go what will then happen gemini is that you change things and you might not change them super kindly right <clears throat> so that's the overall energy for the month of december this is your general reading and this is the general reading for gemini so, Molly, I need that arm for a second, right? Oh, bless her. So now we're looking at the, um, well, we already started really, but we're looking more and more now at the area of emotion. I can do this with one arm. Yeah, flexible like that. Okie dokie. We're looking at the area of emotions and you got birds plural you got the uh, scarab also known as the dung beetle and you got the peacock now this is all about your emotions and there seems to be a theme here because birds tell you as a plural to elevate yourself see things from a higher point of view so when you reflect on your emotions it's not so much about what do I actually feel? But more about, hmm, how safe is it if I open up? And the short answer is, it's not, <laughs> right? Because 
it doesn't need to be safe. You attract on your energy. So the higher your energy is, the better you attract. And you only really know whether or not partners really match your energy um, when you get to know each other, which by that point you will have to put the work in, right? So ultimately what the guides are saying to you is, you are not broken, you might be hurt. That also uh, applies to people who are in a relationship. Because you have the birds, it's all about, let's see if I can see things a little bit more detached because you have the scarab in the middle. Now the scarab is, like I said, a dung beetle, but revered in Egypt. And the awesome thing about that scarab, um, you also probably know him as Scarabeus, is that he can literally lie dormant, you know, just in soil for years. And then when the soil is rich enough for him to go like, yeah, I'm doing something. I mean, every now and then he has to go and eat something. <laughs> but on a whole, he waits his turn. He's not stressed and he's certainly not dealing with half-assed things. If the soil isn't rich enough for him, um, so that actually animals leave their poo there and he actually can get to work, then he's not working. End of story. What that translates to, Gemini, is for you to realize with regards to emotions and with regards to love, if I'm not really in the right place, because that's what the birds will help me with to, to assess that, um, <clears throat> I just manifest anew and my time will come. Right? Also, should you be in a relationship and um, this somehow uh, uh, has piqued your interest, then maybe have a look at how stale your relationship has become and maybe it is time to stir the soil a little, to have some conversations regarding how things can be improved. Right? Your outgoing energy is the peacock and that is the issue with regards to your emotional core. And the emotional core is not necessarily just what you feel or your intuition. It's also about knowingly not dealing with stuff. And I don't mean it in a bad way. Maybe you just, you know, you just feel you're not strong enough. But here's why you have the peacock. The peacock, when he puts that wheel up, right, we find it super beautiful. He puts that wheel up because it literally has a thousand eyes and all the animals go like, whoa, okay, there's more than one there, so we leave them alone. So what you do, in translation, uh, to, to a large extent Gemini, and remember it's a general reading, so it might not be all of you, but when people say to you like, are you all right, and you're not, then maybe it is time you said that. You know, because what the peacock does is he keeps people at bay by painting a nicer picture. Right? That's how it translates into the language of humans, for want of a better word. And all the guides are saying is this is your outgoing energy, which means that's something you generally do. And the guides are saying to you is, would you advise your best friend to be that way? If the answer is no, you have your answer as well. Right? So that was um, your emotions for the month of December 2021. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now we're going into the final area of the reading, which is all about opportunities um, that come your way. Um, and they normally are about sort of what, susta what sustains you, oh, good girl. what sustains you financially. So let's have a look. Here we go. And please, 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 before we go any further, press that like button, subscribe, and most importantly, in order to make that, let that channel grow, I, I really would appreciate if you could share this video with everybody you know, even if they're not Gemini, <laughs> just keep sharing and maybe, you know, because it's a monthly video, a video uh, maybe it makes sense to share it numerous times throughout December. It would mean a lot to me because the idea here is I work for spirit, and so we want to reach as many people as we possibly can. Here we go. Oh, oh. Good, good. So 
let's have a look at the final area which is the area of opportunities and they might not just be about work um, but this is sort of you know also about how, how do I change my life what is it I need to look at and you have the spirit of nurture the journey in the middle and the shaman of courage as the outgoing energy what that means when the guys start off with, with the spirit of nurture if you want anything to work in your favor and I said that in the opening minutes of the video about self-love and all that kind of stuff because that's what it means you have the spirit of nurture you look at yourself if you're not feeling appreciated where you are um, then it becomes a toxic environment and you owe it to yourself to then not go there and manifest changes right so you have to you have the spirit of nurture that's number one if you want any changes um, with regards to whatever it is that sustains you if that makes sense um, then you have to make sure that you are a thousand percent happy with what it is you're doing right so you can see already this is quite a bit of a heavier month with regards to reflecting on where you are in life and to be honest because your middle spirit guide that we have that you have Gemini is the journeyer so <clears throat> you are the journeyer you are on a journey so therefore what doesn't work is to say like oh hmm, this this job isn't isn't nice um, will the next one be good you're on a journey so unless you change how you wish to be treated you will attract whatever needs to trigger that change in you in whatever job you do next so because you're on a journey energetically speaking I wouldn't necessarily expect major changes that all of a sudden are, are, are absolutely awesome <clears throat> but here is a, this is about realizing that because you you look at your own nurturing side right nurturing yourself you therefore begin to manifest what you deserve better and you manifest higher that's the first step and then because you are the journeyer um, don't look at positions don't look at whatever it is you're doing as this having to be the golden ticket right life always goes on if that makes sense so don't get caught up in oh my god I need this to work right because you have the shaman of courage as the outgoing energy so what that means is that if you want things to change with regards to let's just say your your, your work or maybe even your workload um, you need to speak up because that's what the shaman of courage is also about it's like well maybe I need the courage to actually oppose the people that nobody opposes right um, and and I don't see this being done super aggressively but the guides show me this being done and so this is all about reflecting where am I in the scheme of things how much do I attract what I actually deserve and is it because of my energy that the universe can't deliver what I'm asking them to deliver Are you okay Moi? right <clears throat> ultimately guys that's all we got that was your uh, December 2021 general reading again please like the video please share it super often and super widely you okay and um, if you like my work buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas and I see you all next month